HTC has done a good job with its recent smartphones in the Desire series, which offer a good mix of design and specifications, and HTC Desire 826 is no exception. The smartphone is powered by Qualcomm 64-bit Snapdragon 615 SoC, which we saw earlier on the U Eureka and is only available currently on a handful of phones. So can the Desire 826 justify its price tag of 24,000 rupees? Let's find out. In the design department, well, we've seen this design and build quality before in the HTC 816 and the HTC 820. However, of all the Desire phones we have reviewed recently, the design of the Desire 826 feels the most disappointing. Like the speaker grills are now hidden under those slits. They look good exposed. The power and volume rocker buttons are more flushed and somewhat less tactile with no color separation. Adding in the 183 grams of weight, slippery glossy back and its large footprint means that Desire 826 is not very ergonomic to hold either. The Desire 826's 1080p 5.5 inch display is just beautiful from every angle you look at it. There is no denying that this is one of the best 1080p displays in its segment. The display is bright and easily visible under direct sunlight. So everything looks great on this screen. HTC Sense 6 UI is neat as always with its theme manager and a smarter blink feed now. Hints of material design are visible in the menu across the UI as the phone comes with Android Lollipop out of the box. The Desire 826 is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 Octa-Core SoC which came out as a segment leader when it was installed on the sub 10k U Eureka but the competition becomes stiffer over the 20k price mark. With OnePlus One now available without an invite and HTC's much cheaper 8 20s performing almost similarly, the Desire 826 really struggles to grab attention. Saying that, the phone had no issues handling day-to-day -day tasks or even graphically intensive games, but prolonged usage made the phone heat up and made it uncomfortable to hold. And then comes the speed throttle issue. In a good one hour of gaming playing Brothers in Arm 3, the frame rates gradually dropped to a level where the phone stuttered with each swipe. The 2600mAh battery just about lasted us the day with regular usage. Like the Desire 820S, we expected a good camera, but that isn't the case with the Desire 826. Each and every picture we took with the camera showcased the same problem, oversaturated colors and lack of focus. Background noise is kept minimal, but it does creep in under low light shots, when photos are shot indoors, especially. The front facing camera exhibit a similar set of problems, so does the video capture mode. The HTC Desire 826 is not the best phone in its category and exists only as an option like every other Desire phone from HTC. Phones like the Xiaomi Mi 4 or the OnePlus One are a better buy over this phone. And if you still want an HTC, buy the Desire 820 or the 820S.